hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to create a profile page in this fashion and this is kind of a list view which is an horizontal list view but our main focus is not to create this list view our main focus is to show you how to create this overlapping elements like you see this is a container a box container and i'm trying to overlap the circular avatar and this is possible with the help of position widget so i'm going to show you how to do this and the rest of the things are like just adding text and and i'm using this uh, flutter awesome icons and um, yeah so i'm going to show you how to achieve this profile and um, okay to start up with i have this body over here okay let's let's start from the app bar so okay I have simple app bar with nothing fancy it's just a menu icon and a text and a search so you can find this here since I've covered these topics in my previous video I'm not going to type and uh, show you how because it's going to be time consuming so I'm just going to show you how to do this and focus on the overlapping uh, part so so this is your app bar and now my container contains this purple background whatever you see here so what i've done is i've started with the container and added a list view and it's an horizontal list view because whatever you see here it's an horizontal list view now what does my list view contain is these containers so what are this this block covers my first container that is this big profile now my second container covers the second block so the container just has a height width and a color and the children of this particular container is the profile image which is this one i mean the profile image is i mean the profile page is this block which contains the detail of the profile then the my image is the one which is containing this particular round circle image and then I've just added a back page and a next page as well. So we're going to see the profile page very quickly and briefly because this is, it's just a rows column and adding text and adding icons. So I'll quickly show you what this profile page is about. So I've added uh, the string value just for the demo purpose. So now this profile page is nothing but it is, um, a container with row elements you can see here it's the box first it contains a box that's the dark purple that's your container and then I'm using a container inside it where it has row elements of your text and your icons so it's basically a combination of rows and icons and if you want me to do a special video as to how I achieve this detail page I can do it but I don't want to describe in this video because it's gonna make my videos very lengthy so this this part ex clearly explain how to do it and it's purely rows and columns then next moving on to the circle now how do you oh, for, you know how to achieve the circle image so as separately we know circle and the box is possible but how do we overlap it so that function is described here which is the my image that's where i'm passing the image now if i go to this my image we are using a widget called position that is the one that actually positions your image now i've given a top and a left so you have top left right bottom so depending on where you want to position your circle you can give these values since i want it on the top with the left of 100 so if i wanted it somewhere on this corner i could say top with the left or right so many so many values so it purely depends on where you want the circle i can also get it on the center bottom or on the right corner or on the left cor center so it purely depends on your choice so this is the one that actually plays the main role so if you place your child the child is nothing but the box decoration with the shape circle 
So this child, I'm placing it inside the positioned widget with the top and left. So that's it. That's the only thing that makes your circle available on the top of your box. So after that, yeah, after that, I've used back page and next page. So back page is this icon and the next is this one. So what is this back contains? Yeah. I've also placed the position of it. Now, if you see the position of this, I've given bottom zero and left zero and the child. So my arrow, which is the child can, uh, value, I've placed it in a position widget to the position bottom of zero and left zero. Similarly, my next icon, I have placed the bottom zero and right zero. So this way you can position your child element irrespective of whether it's a text or icons or whatever you want. So you can get these um, images or widgets positioned using this position widget. So if you look at it, you can swipe it and you can have different profiles. Um, you could use it for articles, you could use it for images. So yeah, so it's possible to overlap widgets using positioned so hope you liked it and uh, if you want me to explain any of these sections in detail do leave a comment and i'll get back to you with a video um, and yeah thanks for watching if you like the video please give it a like and do subscribe thank you